Greetings, fellow action figure connoisseurs, and welcome to another episode of Digital Caveman Presents Star Wars Wednesday. I, as always, am your host, the Digital Caveman, and today I will be presenting you with Star Wars The Black Series Rogue One, a Star Wars story, Bodhi Rook. Thank you for watching this video or any of my other videos that you may have run across, which I hope is all of them. Only support from viewers like you make this programming possible. Each view does count, and I do appreciate each and every single view that I receive. Thank you, thank you, and thank you so very much for supporting this channel through viewing. Comment below, like, share, subscribe if you'd like to see more reviews, or just to help the channel out. Or both, that's cool too. And don't forget to ding that bell so that in the future you will be notified as my new content becomes available. And with all that said, let's get into it. To start with, as we normally do here on Digital Caveman Presents, let's take a look at the packaging. On the top, a hook, some tape, a window to let some light in, and it's kind of dusty. On the front, Star Wars The Black Series, nice big window showcasing Bodhi and his accessories. Rogue One, a Star Wars story. Bodhi Rook, assortment number. Warning, don't stick things in your pie hole that don't belong there. Four and up, Hasbro print. On the bottom, small print, fine print, legalese print, made in China print, symbols I'm not gonna learn, and a barcode. On this side, nothing, nothing, nothing. Stripe continuing around from the front. Star Wars The Black Series on this side. Nice artwork of Bodhi. Bodhi Rook. And there's some more of that nice artwork. Star Wars The Black Series, Bodhi Rook. A former Imperial pilot, Bodhi has strong piloting and technical skills that he will put to use for the Rebellion. Ever practical but highly anxious, Bodhi must gather his courage to bring the battle to the Empire. And there it is again in some other languages I don't read. He's 06 in Rogue One, A Star Wars Story. And attention, don't stick things in your French pie hole. Achtung, don't stick things in your other language pie holes. Includes figure and two accessories. Some more small prints, some more made in China print, some Disney print, and some more Hasbro print. And that, my friends, does it for a look at the packaging. It's time to take a look at the figure and his accessories. And handy dandy tweezers here. And we'll take a look at his gun. Not a style that we haven't seen before. I don't know if this is a new mold of it or not. But nice details in it, all molded in colored plastic. Here we have his uh, connection backpack, I guess you could call it. Where he runs his landlines out to the communication stuff. And it is, you know, it does have a clip here. It doesn't like to stay in it. And the rope right here at the, where it meets up, it's kind of stiff right here. Like they put some glue or something on it and uh, for the packaging. And I understand that. And the rope does pull out some. And there's no easy way, at least that I have found, that it rolls back in. But, you know, you get a fair length of rope in there and how I've figured to do it is I just take my handy dandy tweezers there and just, just roll the barrel from the inside and I keep bumping the camera of course and there you go eventually you keep at it and you will get it in there and then it does clip right back in there. Now let's take a look at the figure. I do think this is a decent likeness of the character. And the paint on the face is fairly good. I don't know if it looks exactly like him. But much better than if he had been one of the original releases. So there you go. Goggles up here, but they are glued on, but they are transparent, so that's cool. And he's got his little ponytail. And, you know, his basic 
jumpsuit with the Imperial symbol here and here and then he's got some keys here I guess those are keys or data rods and a little bit of paint apps here and here on the vest and here on the vest and even this buckle right here so that's pretty cool and then that's pretty much the extent of the paint apps on this guy let's talk about his articulation he can look up that far and there's a ball at the bottom of the neck and the neck is a separate piece and then there's a dumbbell hinge I think up in here can't really see it and I'm not gonna pull it apart but uh, the neck does move independently of the head and the body so that's good he can look down that far he's got waggle 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 going on he can do the full exorcist at the shoulders full 360 degrees and right at 90 degrees out nothing at the upper bicep he does have a hinge and swivel at the elbow swivels full 360 degrees and the bend gives you better than 90 looking at me like that uh, at the wrist 360 degrees of rotation on an in and out hinge and the other hand his gun hand is on an up and down hinge so black series is getting better about that um, I think he has yeah it looks like he's got this ball joint um, right here at the waist gives him crunch back that far and crunch forward about that far and then he's got some hula going on at the legs he can give you that much of the splits he can kick forward that far about 90 degrees back eh, not so much but it gets in the way of course cut here at the upper thigh for a, another 360 degrees of rotation a hinge and swivel at the knee bend gives you slightly better than 90 and it, of course it does swivel all the way around and then at the ankles down that far up about that far and then he does have forward facing pin for rocker now to get the backpack on him just kind of put his arms behind him and it goes on like a backpack no tabs to work or anything like that just slides on and then you move his hands back forward and there we go and that my friends is a look at Bodie Rook and his accessories now comes my favorite part of a review the comparisons and we'll start things off with Jen Urso Captain Cassian Andor K2SO Here he is with Chirrut Umway. And here's Bayes Malbus. Hey, you're looking the wrong way, Bayes. The Jetta Patrol Stormtrooper. The 
the original release Death Trooper, not the Archive Edition. Here's the Death Trooper from the Target 2-pack, and he doesn't want to stand up now. What's wrong with you, pal? And, of course, Directo Krennic. And last up in the Black Series, we have the Archive Waves 501st Clone Trooper. And how does he compare up to other lines? Well, let's take a look. From the Marvel Legends series, making his cameo appearance, here we have Stan the Man Lee. From G.I. Joe Classified Series, the Hasbro Pulse Exclusive Regal Variant Cobra Commander. And for some 7 inch goodness, we have McFarlane Toys DC Multiverse Batman Beyond. And that, my friends, completes the comparisons. For final thoughts on Star Wars The Black Series, Rogue One A Star Wars Story Bodhi Rook figure, I have to say, I, um, you know, it's a good figure. Maybe not the most exciting character in the film, but without Bodhi, you know, nothing really would have been going on for that film. So, I'm glad we finally got a Bodhi. Needed him to finish out the Rogue One crew. I don't know why that they haven't done a repaint of Krennic to go with this set, but you know. Maybe he's coming later in an archive wave or something. I, although I don't know why he would be coming in an archive wave. Maybe the sales on the original figure were just very bad compared to the others, and they decided not to reissue him. But, it's neither here nor there. It doesn't have anything to do with this figure. The articulation is good. The accessories are appropriate. The likeness is pretty good. And again, like I said, I'm glad we finally got a Bodhi to complete out the set. Well, that does it for the review. I hope you enjoyed it. I enjoyed making it. Only support from viewers like you make this programming possible. Each view does count, and I do appreciate each and every single view that I receive. Thank you, thank you, and thank you so very much for supporting this channel through viewing. Comment below, like, share, subscribe if you'd like to see more reviews, or just to help the channel out, or both. That's even better. And don't forget to ding that bell so that in the future you will be notified as my new content becomes available. That's a wrap, folks. I'll see you next time.